In this video we're going to talk about multiplication and division of fractions. So just to remind yourself, when we multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators together, so a times c, and we multiply the denominators together as well, so b times d. If we're dividing fractions, well, we actually change it to the division to a multiplication first, and then we take the reciprocal. So a over b divided by c over d is actually a over b multiplied by d over c. So the reciprocal of whatever comes after the division. And then we put numerator, numerator, denominator with denominator. What we want to do then is take that and reduce it to lowest terms by canceling, which is what we've done in the previous lessons. So we're going to work through some examples. Notice the note that's going by there. Always factor first. We want to factor before we start canceling and before we worry about anything else. So we're going to start this one by factoring, so we get 3 times x minus y over, now this is x minus y all squared, we're not going to expand that, we're just going to write it as x minus y times x minus y to show what that squared means. Then that's multiplied by x squared minus y squared, well that's x minus y times x plus y, and the denominator here we can factor out a 3 and that's going to leave us with 2x plus 3y. So once it's all factored and it's multiplication, remember that just means all the top is going together and all the bottom is going together, we can start canceling. So what we can do then is we have a 3 here and a 3 here, well those can go. We have an x minus y and an x minus y. We have an x minus y and an x minus y. And we're left with what has to be the answer, which is x plus y over 2x plus 3y. And that's the process of multiplying with those algebraic expressions. So we'll go ahead and try some more examples. In the next example then, we're going to factor the numerator, so that's 2 outside of x minus 2. The denominator here we get 4 outside of x plus 3. And in the next fraction, the factored form of that numerator is going to be 2x minus 5 and x plus 3, and you should be comfortable to work that out on your own now. We get 3x minus 1 here. So what can we cancel? We have x plus 3 and x plus 3. 2 and 4 cancel and leave a 2 here. And that's it. We don't have any other factors that are the same, so we end up with x minus 2 times 2x minus 5 over 2 times 3x minus 1. So we just write all the factors that we have left. So let's go ahead and do these next two to finish this page. Here we have a division, so the first thing we're going to do is actually change it to a multiplication. So it's going to be multiplied by the reciprocal, so that's 5 over 3. 3 and 6 cancel to leave 2 here. And we get our answer of 10x, that's 2 times 5, over 7. So that's how the division works. Division can also be written the way we see it in D here. So we're going to rewrite this as 3a squared over 5c, multiplied by the reciprocal of this one, which is going to be a over 2c squared. We actually don't have anything on top and bottom that can cancel here. So we're going to just multiply and we get 3a cubed over 10c cubed and there's nothing to reduce, nothing to cancel. We're going to end this lesson here. It was a little short, but I just want to make sure that you're comfortable with those. If you get those right, good. Go ahead, do the next ones, and then come back and watch the video. In the next video, we'll go ahead and do a bunch more practice of those. But that's a good start, so if you have any questions, make sure you get some help as soon as you can, and we'll see you in the next video.